Hello, in this video we will discuss about the mitochondrial reactive oxygen species production. And the reactive oxygen species will produce in the mitochondria which that will damage the whole cell, even whole tissue. So how it is possible and what is the mitochondria we will learn here in this video. So the mitochondria, mito, mito reactive oxygen species are produced as a normal byproduct of mitochondrial uh, respiration and metabolic enzymatic activity but increase the reactive oxygen species lead to stress but how the increase of reacti reactive oxygen species it depends when we will eat more food more glucose and the consumption of the glucose and the Krebs cycle will work more to produce more reactive oxygen species. So the fasting is important for inhibition of the reactive oxygen species and antioxidant. So this is a cell which that's contain nuclear cytoplasm plasma membrane and this is the mitochondria which that is the powerhouse of the cell uh, contain double membrane uh, organelle. So the glucose when rise it will move into the tissue for example this cell and the glycolysis to the Krebs cycle and electron transport chain present in the mitochondria will produce more ATP and the basically here is the inner membrane mitochondria and outer membrane. So what is the meaning of ATP adenosine triphosphate is very important for providing the energy throughout the body so every cell contain mitochondria. So here is the outer matrix, inner matrix, yellowish color and the Krebs cycle will occur inside and this is the circular DNA. So the inner matrix and outer matrix you, sh you should need to understand. So what is the mitochondria and where come from mitochondria? So some study shows mitochondria was the aerobic bacteria, evolutionary history developed after the um, uh, mutually mutilation with anaerobic large bacteria is known as symbiosis when symbiosis will occur so the mitochondria will provide the uh, energy through oxygen fixation while the other shelter or other things which that provide from the anaerobic bacteria so the mutual relationship will become a eukaryote from prokaryote because the eukaryotes contain a nucleus that is known as a two nucleus. So here is the bigger picture of the mitochondria contain inner membrane and outer membrane and inner membrane uh, here and this is the matrix, the inner matrix. So I hope you make sense. This is the electron transport chain complex for electron transport chain. So here is the NADH. This NADH will convert into the NAD plus because NADH uh, reductase enzyme so in this way here you can see the pump proton out into the outer mitochondria matrix and the quinone will convert into the ubiquinone after the fixation of the electron and this is the reactive oxygen species will produce and it will move out flux also and the cytochrome C will accept the electron and donate to the uh, fourth complex of the electron transport chain to pump out the four proton for example with which that the rushes and increase the acidity in the uh, 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 outer mitochondria matrix and ATP synthase enzyme will lead to influx of the proton will produce four proton influx to produce one ATP while here the reactive oxygen species by the fixation of two proton will convert into the hydrogen peroxide and it is dangerous also if not convert into water and oxygen so remember that things so important thing you should need to understand the hydrogen peroxide will be convert so if not convert it will be moved into the outer mitochondria matrix even cytoplasm so this is the oxidase enzyme gpx G grx prdx trx buffering system which that produce the reactive oxygen species which that will trigger the cytochrome complex 45 and 392 and this function reduced of the electron transport chain 
and this reactive oxygen species will inhibit the function of electron transport chain while here is the glucose will convert into the pyruvate in the cytoplasm that is the anaerobic respiration and the carbon dioxide will release and during a decarboxylation to produce acetyl coa acetyl coa require the oxygen for further breakdown and further processing in the krebs cycle to produce atp as well as nadh and fadh2 so in this way the reactive oxygen species will inhibit the acetyl coa by the inhibition of the pphk while on the other hand the uh, oxaloacetate will convert into the citrate in the krebs cycle through citrate synthase enzyme it will be inhibit via a reactive oxygen species and dna damage cytoplasm and cell membrane damage so here is important thing you should need to understand this is the basically is the reactive oxygen species also lead to lipid per oxidation production due to the plasma membrane or cell membrane or organelle membrane of the organelle and also this reactive oxygen species will move into the cytoplasm and the here a sod one which that will convert the hydrogen peroxide into the uh, 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 reactive oxygen species into the hydrogen peroxide which is, is less toxic but it is lipid peroxidation production will occur also will inhibit the electron transport chain and lipid peroxidation production will inhibit the complex one complex two four atp synthase and also the krebs cycle inhibition so on the other hand here you can see when this uh, reactive oxygen species will move into the cytoplasm where the endoplasmic reticulum present this endoplasmic reticulum is used endoplasmic reticulum so in this way the reactive oxygen species will trigger the calcium outflux through endoplasmic reticulum and this calcium will outflux will lead to rushes the calcium outside so in this way the outside the calcium will increase will lead to a cyclic amp peak uh, uh, cyclic amp kinase kinase 2 enzyme will convert into the adenosine monophosphate kinase enzyme and in this way the raptor which that will trigger the alp1 and mitophagy will occur this mitophagy will inhibit the reactive oxygen species basically and the reactive oxygen species will trigger the hif uh, ix which that will trigger the glycolysis more because glycolysis is very important if the mitochondria will not work correctly so on the other hand here the nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide oxidase enzyme are present in the outer membrane of the mitochondria which that is important for the nadh Uh, to convert the nad plus and this is the oxidase so oxidation it hypoxia low oxygen inflammatory stimuli will trigger more and in this way it will lead to produce more reactive oxygen species will move into the inner mitochondria matrix and inner side the branch chain keto acid uh, dehydrogenase enzyme which that will convert this are uh, re- to produce more reactive oxygen species so the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell provide aerobic respiration to atp is important if it will not work too much so in this way it will damage the tissue cells and when tissue damage it means the problem will occur cancer causing gene activation due to the damage of the dna Uh, on the other hand there is apoptosis will occur when the mitochondria will be damaged so that video is another video i had made about you can search uh, and write about that uh, apoptosis through mitochondria so this video about the mitochondria reactive oxygen species production and reactive oxygen species thanks